So I kind of felt like... So, this is aesthetic roots, and I kind of felt as if we needed to have one of these 90s moments, as far as some of the things that have been popping up on this channel, so I feel like my hair should be extra poofy, and if I went like that, you'd probably be able to see it bounce. If I had brown hair and was white, I'd probably look like one of the 90s dads off a sitcom from something you remember. But I'm not. I'm decked out in black and I figured why not share with you all. So Preston Mallard is getting ready to be here. Henry Booster is getting ready to be here. Frenchy Talent has been running amok. And I just feel like, you know, compared to everything that's getting ready to happen in March, April, and the rest of the year. I'm kind of curious because I tried making some videos the other day and I ran out. So, this is not a huge cause for concern, but I'm wondering what's going to happen. But, you know, as these antics continue, I almost thought... I, you know, I wondered, what's next for Acidic Roots? Tell us about the mythical year three. Tell us about these obnoxious loons that you hang with. Tell us about Puma. Tell us about Taco Bell. And by the way, the Stack Double Taco is no more. This is, this is thumbs down. Didn't appreciate that. But... Tell us about, tell us more stories. All these causes for concern that people are probably wondering about and the continued mysteries that have been going on since the summer of 2015. What exactly are you? What are your motives? What are your intentions? And what the fuck? So I understand that. It almost feels like I need to have a Q&A, but... I mean, if I could just, you know, think very faintly. Some of my intentions are to bring back a few of the series from year one. Like, I might do another coffee talk with oranges. I might do another... Um, I might talk about some Taco Bell again. Just these various things that continue to happen. And... Dang. <laughs> you like that? That's the... This. It's like... You know, you've seen some motherfuckers who do that sort of thing. <laughs> but... Yeah, so the answer to most of these questions... I'm not really too... Aware of what's exactly going on. This... this I suppose that this video would kind of be like an intermission video... One of those things you do after the show is over and they sit down and talk with you and they have like this really uh, uplifting smile on their face and they sit down. Usually they don't have their suit on but they'll still have what's beneath the suit, something like that. And it's like, you know, I'm just here to kind of tell you my morale right now, that sort of thing. You know, if it was a 30-minute program, this would be on right around the 22-minute, the 23, 24-minute mark, and then the show would end. You'd get your commercials. Maybe it's more at, like, the 28-minute mark out of 30 minutes. You hear me say something with morals for two minutes, and then that's it. So, as far as what exactly I think with this channel... Yeah, the jokes, you know, I'm not in short supply. I hope that the stupidity of what you see is alarming because that, you know, it, it's just gonna, you know, it's just gonna be X3 after that. You know, it was X2, now it's gonna be X3 times 3 is what I mean. 
So multiplying the stupid by three, do I really mind? I wouldn't say so. It's just like they say in the old days. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> so that, that's kind of the thing. I think in, you know what I think of that saying? It's not broke. When was it broke? Why didn't you tell me if it was broke? And what are we supposed to do about it when it is broke? Have you ever thought about any of those questions? If you don't have the answer to those questions, we really have no business trying to fix something like that. So, yeah, so, just a tea time with acidic roots type moment.